modern engine manufacture mainly uses so-called dry filters made of paper. Air that is taken in flows through them. Dirt particles in the air are trapped permanently in the surface with fine pores. If too much dirt is trapped in the air filter, it should be replaced instead of cleaned. In this video, we will take a closer look and demonstrate what actually happens in air filter cleaning. The amount of dirt that is actually filtered out of the air is shown by the calculation example of a vehicle that's mainly driven on the road. Calculated at 100 kilometers, with approximately 120 cubic meters of air required and an average volume of dust in the air intake of 0.005 grams per cubic meter, the amount would be 0.6 grams per 100 kilometers. Extrapolated to 10,000 kilometers, this would mean up to 60 grams of dirt is collected in the vehicle's air filter. If this dirt were to make it into the engine, it would cause heavy wear of the pistons, piston rings, and engine bearings. For vehicles exposed to harsher environmental influences, the demands placed on the filter system are much higher. This is noticeable mainly in the shorter change intervals of the filters. For example, in combine harvesters, which are exposed to extremely high levels of dust, the air filter would need to be changed every four days. This filter was removed after four days with a weight of 4.245 kilograms. A new unused filter weighs 3.395 kilograms. This means that within four days, 0.85 kilograms of dirt was trapped by the filter. This is the reason why filter replacement in agricultural and construction machines is relatively uncommon. In order to save money, the filters are frequently beaten or blown out. However, are these methods appropriate? We put it to the test. With the beating method, 412 grams of dirt was released from the filter. With the blowing method, the amount of dirt removed increased to 668 grams. Nevertheless, despite both cleaning methods, the used filter is still 182 grams heavier compared to the new filter. This means there is still dirt in the filter, which additionally reduces airflow. Cleaned filters are therefore not comparable to new filters. Beating the filter may deform it so that it cannot seal properly, thus allowing unfiltered air to enter the combustion chamber. Initially, blowing out filters seems to be a safer cleaning method. However, upon observing its effect on the structure of the filter paper, this method is not recommended either. In addition to the risk of creating small tears or holes in the filter medium during blowing, the structure of the filter paper is also damaged by the compressed air. Comparing new and blown out filter paper shows the compressed fibers they can no longer trap dirt particles. Airflow is also reduced, which in addition to reducing performance, also results in increased differential pressure in the filter. This differential pressure can be so high that the filter paper tears and the filter function fails entirely. So both cleaning methods come with considerable risks. It's up to the expert to decide whether to take on these risks or simply to use a new filter.